What's up, what's up, what's up? It's time for that culture for the streets. Hit that button, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, don't leave up about the traps you've been served. I just wanna speak on this Say Cheese incident or situation, cause it seemed like he trying to make a pattern out this shit. But it seems like Say Cheese is exploiting the mothers of the dead. We talking about mothers like Tuka, for instance. Like he brought Tuka mother all the way down there to interview her only to bring back the pain and the tragedy she had to experience when she first lost her son. A parent losing a kid. And you wanna interview a lady that lost her kid, regardless what he was, that's her kid. In a parent's eyes, her kid is always innocent. It don't matter what they did or what they done, that's their child. So in their head, that's their baby, that's their innocent child. So for people to get on here and talk crazy about the dead when they pass, especially knowing they got a family out there still, knowing they still got a dad, a mom, a sister, some brothers, some siblings, stuff like that. We got to do better than this because that shouldn't be what we try to make content on people grieving over losing loved ones. Now it's cool to talk about it, get your perspective on what happened in the situations, but to sit there and rub it in a grieving mother's face, all for likes and numbers and impressions was corny, you know what I'm saying? Because that lady got to deal with the fact that her son is gone every day, not some days, every day, since he she lost to her. And I ain't just talking about Tuka mom, I'm talking about everybody mom, from FBG Ducks mom, FBG Cash mother, everybody had a mom, dude. Everybody that lost their life, King Von, you, hear, you, heard, you heard Charleston White saying, fuck King Von mom, fuck his sister, fuck his brothers, fuck them hoes, and come on, bro. Come on, man, come on. Cause I know if that was me, and then people talking like that about me, Nigga, my niggas got green light to take a head, man. If they catch any nigga speaking ill, like that shit, listen, and I don't even condone, I'm not just condoning violence like that, but when you speaking ill on the dead like that, that shit come with repercussions, man. And I don't know why people so comfortable with cutting on their cameras and trying to dissect other people's life, knowing that yours ain't perfect neither. But at the same time, when somebody lose their kid, that's a touchy situation. That's not nobody going to jail. That's not nobody, that's not a rapper that, that flopped on the CD. We talking about people losing their life. So when you, you enforce that on somebody else to relive the tragedy and pain they had to go through, that sucker shit, man. And it's inhumane to me, like, come on. Like, would you want somebody interviewing your mom after you didn't got your top took? And do it just like you keep rubbing what happened in her, in your face. And just like she said, my son ain't a game bang. But you want to put a picture of Tuka throwing up folks up on the screen, picture in picture. Like, come on, man. It's, okay, so if she say that and then you put that up there, was that your reference to saying, well, you lying because the nigga was in the game? It's a whole bunch of moms outside that don't be knowing what their kids be into 100%. You might know your kid outside, but you ain't gonna necessarily know your kid outside shooting people, your kid outside robbing people, your kid outside selling drugs, your kid gang banging, your kid is mischievous. You, you ain't gonna, you not always gonna know everything. My mama didn't know everything. By the time she did, it was well past too late. I was already in the game, certified. I was already outside hustling. I was already feeding me and my sister. So it's a little bit different. Don't always assume the parents knew exactly what their kid was doing because that ain't always the situation. That ain't always the case. So in this case, we say cheese exploiting the mothers of the dead. You's a fuck nigga for that. Somebody should slap the shit out you for that. And you doing it all for monetary gain. Like, how much money did they make? Okay, you flew them down there and do all of this. Charleston White did the same thing. You brought FBG mom, Tuka mom, all the mothers of the past 
in Chirac? Like, what was the real purpose for that? Was it a real purpose for that? Was it a real purpose for that? Was y'all down there trying to talk about how you could fix things or trying to talk these people's spirits in the good into a good mood, was y'all really trying to keep them away from the pain they experience every day knowing they lost their loved ones? Was that the purpose? Or was the purpose to gain attention on your channel to get some more views, some more likes, some more comments, and another check? Because if so, y'all starting to do all the wrong shit. Now y'all inviting people that done lost loved ones all so you can get more views. Like some of this shit, we need to back up a little bit. We need to back up a little bit. We need to back up a little bit. Like, come on, man. There's so much shit in the world to talk about, man. We don't have to rub people losing their loved ones in their face, man. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Don't leave about the traps so you've been served. Mafia, it's time for that culture for the streets.